Agárralo y se va a hacer. Ay, ya pasa. Parezco nueva. No, pero esto no que importa. Ay, salió todo eso. So these are all the grounds that they have been able to preserve after Cortez. Well, they came looking for gold. They didn't find any. So what they saw were ruins only. And he just said, oh, let's leave. There's no gold here. We don't need to preserve these lands. Let's just leave. So they left this area as is. And later on, Profidio Diaz is the one that started reconstructing them started you know seeing the the true true history and importance of this land so you see the the fence already worked on anything before the fence is all preserved for the future excavation so. future excavation for Fido Diaz he had um commission an archaeologist to excavate for the, the pyramids but only gave him five years and the archaeologist said well how am I gonna do it in five years so he used dynamite and, and we blew up half of that pyramid. That's why we don't see anything on there, on the top. The okay. point, because he used dynamite. And the dynamite blew it all up. I mean, not all of it, but partially. So, he put it back together with it, but no, no. Not completely. Not completely. Not to the extent that it was, maybe at one point. But, so. um, but yeah, I think that that hill, I bet you that if they don't clean it up, they'll find out that it's going to be And they're saying that the plants are not uh, original. They're not from this area because they used to be tropical plants, right? Yeah. But it also has to do with global warming, I believe, because... I mean, we're seeing what things are becoming. Mm -hmm. Anything that used to be like tropical now is desert and whatnot. So we're walking the backside, but um, we're going to come up to, hopefully we'll have battery enough to come up to the the path of the dead, right? Yeah. Because that's where the dead were walked to go up the pyramid and get sacrificed. The reason why was because they thought the gods needed energy because they would see the gods still, like the sun and the moon. They stand still. Well, that's how they, everybody's in. We all know that they rotate, <laughs> but they saw them that way. They were still. So they decided to, what gives uh, energy blood, so they decided to sacrifice themselves to, or each other, I should say, to, um, to give energy to the gods. And you can find these too, huh? Mm -hmm. No se cansan los niños, ¿verdad? <laughs> and that's a pyramid of the moon. Dedicated for the moon. And actually, all these little ones were for gods. Yes. Just like... We venerate our saints. We pray to them. We ask for their intercession. Um, that's what these people do. Even though our saints aren't God, we only have one God, but we venerate them. We pray for their pr we ask for their prayers and intercession. And they would ask the gods to help them. So each of these would be considered an altar, right? Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Okay. Oh, look at those, they're up there. <laughs> we should go kick back over there, right? And finish our vlog on there. On top of the permit, or uh -huh. we're just hitting down there? Like, go up on top. Let's see how steep they are. I could do a little one, now that I have water. Or do you want to try to go up there? Huh? No, those are steep. Look at that guy's legs. Yeah. No. Yeah, those are big. So do you think I could go up that one? This is cool. Okay. I need both my hands. <laughs>
Afraid of heights. No, I'm not afraid of heights. You're I'm terrified of heights. I'm gonna get that in my head. All right, so you a lot of tall. Let's pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, Gav. Gavi. Gavi. 